गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स प्रोस्टेट कैंसर स्टेज फोर इज अ प्रोस्टेट कैंसर विच इज स्प्रेड बियॉन्ड द प्रोस्टेट इन टू रेस्ट ऑफ द बॉडी आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष सबरवाल यूरोलॉजिस्ट एंड्रोलॉजिस्ट एंड रोबोटिक सर्जन फ्रॉम न्यू डेली इंडिया एंड टूडे आई विल टेल यू अ पेशेंट स्टोरी हु हैड प्रोस्टेट कैंसर स्टेज फोर ही इज मिस्टर एरन ही केम फ्रॉम लुसाका जैम्बिया ही केम टू अस इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दैट इज थ्री ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ ही वॉज फिफ्टी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड he was having difficulty in urination and the doctors did his psa the psa was 165 that is very high psa normal psa is less than 4 after that he underwent a prostate biopsy which showed that he was suffering from prostate cancer when he traveled to india we evaluated his prostate cancer we did a psa me pet ct scan it is a scan which scans the whole body and tells us where all the prostate cancer has spread and when we saw the reports of the pet scan there was cancer in the prostate there was cancer in the bones there was cancer in the lymph nodes cancer was everywhere in the body he had a very aggressive stage 4 cancer we did his prostate surgery for his urinary problem and apart from that we gave therapy for his prostate cancer we started him on a tablet by the name of abiratron which suppressed the prostate cancer and also we started him on zolendronic acid injections which would make the bone strong and prevent fractures he underwent that treatment and since then he has been on follow up with me through whatsapp and today in 2022 he has come back for his follow up he is doing very well he is urinating with a good urine flow he doesn't have any pains we have done a psa it is amazing it is only 0.02 so it is almost like his cancer is cured and we did a psma pet ct scan again we compared this psma pet ct scan with the previous psma pet ct scan and there is 98% resolution of the prostate cancer even inside the prostate there is no active uptake of the contrast that means that even inside the prostate there is no active cancer obviously he has got prostate cancer but it, there is no active prostate cancer which is going to trouble him so he is doing very well so we have mr aran with us and he will tell his whole experience thank you very much doctor indeed that is a true story uh, a truth be told that actually in 2019 i was devastated when i was told what was troubling me was cancer but i didn't expect it as usual we always resistant to that but the truth suffered and uh, one of the yardsticks that you professionals use is the PSA so when i was told to take the PSA it was incredibly high incredibly high because the normal as i have said is from 0 to 4 to 4 but here we were we were told it was 165 and uh, but I was uh, advised by the doctors back home that he was home and uh, that I did not need to lose hope but most of them were good enough to have recommended that I take a trip to India and it was uh, India has dealt with a lot of um, diseases and uh, the experience that they have attained is quite quite huge and indeed I took a trip and uh, I was received here and uh, when i was taken to the same tests they confirmed exactly what zambia has told me i think the difference was that uh, here you at the or oh, they do have the facilities like you like can do the robotic surgery which i thought um, was a the normal thing for that stage and uh, i was scared but when it was carried out i started feeling good and uh, the doctors here gave me hope that uh, there is a new medicine on the market and there's new technology on the market and when these things were combined i was treated and i was ready to go home home i've been religiously following the instructions in terms of medication i was glad that, that when i reached home it was over slightly over 8 uh, in terms of psa but i i controlled it to below 1 and it has remained uh, static from 0.02 to 0.05 in, in, 
this range. And this is what was confirmed here in India. And if you ask me how I feel, I feel extremely fit the way I used to feel before. And I can do all things that I used to do before. The flow of urine is perfect. The, the, the sweating that I used to have is no longer there. All those complications. But above all, the hope that I, at now I'm all right, I'm fit. And the results that I've received now gives me hope. As the doctor said, almost 98% perfect. But as a, a cancer patient, you cannot be 100% uh, perfect. And uh, with a new arrangement in place, that the medication now has been adjusted, and I'll continue following the instruction. And I want to recommend that uh, I think uh, there is need for us to be constantly going to the hospital for a checkup for PSA so that we can know the status and before it gets beyond the normal you can be attended to. Nothing to fear. I think this is the modern world. There is always a solution to everything. I am grateful to the medical staff here in India. And would you like to tell something about your wife's support during the whole thing? Well, you know, women normally, I tell you in this kind of situations, they are stronger than men. And uh, she has been with me, I can say through thick and thin. And uh, whenever I used to go down, she would, she would lift me up. And uh, she gave me the encouragement. We looked for resources and she said, we have to go to India. Because that is the recommendation we have received. And that uh, according to the world record, India is one of the best destinations. And uh, so she has been in the forefront, uh, pushing me, giving me the encouragement. That's why up to, to now, she, she's here with me so, and she's extremely happy that we have come out of this. And what is your routine when you go back home? Like now you told me that you're retired. So what do you do the whole day and everything? Well, How do you stay fit? Uh, uh, yeah, retire but, uh, but uh, you want to retire from activities uh, like that. You normally do once in a while, but above all, now uh, I'm a businessman mm. and it requires a lot of effort because you have to survive, you have to move up and down mm. and our country is vast uh, and uh, that you have to do a lot of errands and uh, that is what has made me happy that now I'll be able to do my activities in a normal way. But with your advice and the advice of everybody is that in a situation like this you don't stay idle. Yeah. Uh, you have to do a lot of exercises and you have to check out for your diet. Uh, so all those and indeed the medication, uh, you don't have to, to forget about that. So the combination of uh, 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 exercises, uh, a good diet, active mind and uh, support from my family and uh, I will take the medicine as prescribed and I believe that uh, everything will be alright. Yeah. So friends, you saw how Mr. Aaron is doing his treatment and he's feeling very well. In the end, I would like to tell you two things about stage 4 prostate cancer. First of all, it is an aggressive cancer, but with the latest treatments, with the proper treatment, with aggressive treatment, it is now possible that even with stage 4 cancer, you can have almost near complete resolution not like initially it was thought that it is cancer and is the end of the life. Secondly, not all cancers are the same. There are some prostate cancers which are very aggressive and they do not respond to medicines. But there are many cancers, many types of prostate cancer which are hormone sensitive. They respond very well to the treatment. So like Mr. Aaron was also saying that when he found out he thought it is the end of the life, it is not like that. If you are lucky enough, God is with you your cancer will be something which will respond very well to the treatment and you can have a near complete resolution. Like you saw our friend, he has been in constant treatment, regular treatment for the past three years and his PSA is continuously getting down, his disease is almost under control. I recommend for you also that if you have stage 4 prostate cancer, you should consult the doctor regularly, take your treatments regularly, maintain a healthy diet, maintain healthy activities, do regular exercise and that will keep you going for a long time and have a normal life.
if you have any questions regarding prostate cancer and you want to contact me you can email me or whatsapp me my email address and whatsapp number are there in the description thank you